I'm going to attempt to somewhat briefly describe uh, the state of nature as explained by uh, the Disenthrall tribe. And it seems to make more sense than any other description I've heard. And I want to put it out there. I'm going to ask the uh, people who kind of formulated these ideas to tell me if I, if I have it right or not. So the idea of the state of nature is that all stuff exists. And you get to believe whatever you want as far as one or more gods created it or it just there was a big bang and all of a sudden everything was there or the big bang reminded evolution that it needed to start doing its thing and then it did it whatever you want to believe doesn't really matter but we're all out there there are rocks and there are tigers and dogs and trees and people and and all these things out there and we are in a state of nature and the tiger eats the sheep and the the sheep eats the grass and you know maybe we feel sorry for the grass because the sheep is attacking it and eating it but we say eh they're they're both just they're in a state of nature and that's what happens in nature bull elk rape cow elk and well it's, we're not going to call it rape because it's state of nature and everything's okay nothing's protected in a state of nature and then Humans happen to be, or were created to be, whatever. Humans are smarter. And we are able to formulate ideas. And we're able to think abstractly and deeply and broadly. And, and because of this, we say to ourselves, hey, what if we kind of formed an agreement, a contract, not a written contract, but just kind of a, an assumed contract with other humans and we said, hey, how about we don't kill each other and eat each other? And how about we don't rape each other? And how about we don't steal from each other? How about we don't force other others people to do what we want them to do and enslave them, that kind of thing, to any degree? And then all human beings who say, yeah, you know what? That kind of sounds like a good idea. Let's elevate out of this state of nature and let's just kind of go by these real basic simple rules and how about we just say the only rule that kind of covers everything I've mentioned the only rule is we don't initiate violence or force against other people and as long as we all agree to that one rule and everything that follows from it as long as we agree to that one rule then we're considered beyond the state of nature, a step above. We're all part of this this club called humanity, um, or we can call it whatever you want. But we're we're part of this this collective, this organization, this this tribe, this club of people who agree not to initiate violence against each other, and we're just going to give each other a break. And we all think that we'll have a better life if we do this. So that is the how to elevate out of the state of nature. That's what human beings can choose to do. Then, according to this particular perspective, which I tend to think is the best one I've ever heard, it, it certainly, to me, seems much better than Rousseau's social contract or many of the others that don't seem to be simple and, and easy and based in reason, etc., so then let's say that a person either enters this club of humanity or they never choose to. And instead they're killing people and eating them and they are they're not living by this unwritten agreement, this this unwritten contract. Well, that person then has not elevated themselves out of a state of nature. They remain a state of nature being. And so long as they are a state of nature being, they do not have any of the rights and privileges of those who are in the club. There are certain things in the club that we say, hey, if you're a member of this club, we're not going to punch you. We're not going to take your money. We're not going to initiate violence against you. But if you don't agree to that, then you are not a party to this agreement. You remain a state of nature, just like a rock and a piece of grass and a tiger and sheep 
an elk. I get to treat you just like I would treat anything else that's in the state of nature. If it's okay for me to cut a piece of grass in half, I can cut you in half. If it's okay for me to, to I don't know, take whatever grass I want and bail, put it in bales of hay and feed it to my sheep, who I'm later going to eat. Well, that's all state of nature stuff. I get to do that. And if you don't choose to be part of this collective of people who have agreed to not harm each other, then, eh, sorry, bud, you lost your rights. Was that a good description of the state of nature as understood and explained by Disenthral, uh, Patrick Smith, Christian Moore, Case and Bryden, the brilliant people who currently kind of make up the core of the Disenthral think tank. Where did I get things wrong? How did I word things inaccurately? How can I make this a better short description? <laughs>